Welcome to Unfold Data Science friends. My name is Aman and I am a data scientist. In this particular video, I am going to explain you the concept of cost function and loss function. I am also going to tell you how these functions are different and how they are used in machine learning. I am going to make this topic extremely simple using a real life example and then I am going to show you the same thing with a machine learning example. So let's start guys. First of all, what is a loss function guys? So the definition of a loss function is a function that associates a cost with a decision. Let me repeat it again. A function which associates a cost with a decision. Let me give you a simple real world example. Let's say Aman has to travel from point A to point B. So what does Aman do? Aman opens the Google Maps and sees the different options. Okay. So this is the Google Maps. This Google Maps tells to Aman, hey, you know what? If you take route number one, you will spend 30 minutes. If you take route number two, you will spend 20 minutes. If you take route number three, you will spend 10 minutes. So what is happening here is I have to make a decision and there are costs associated with all these three different options for that decision. So if I make a decision of two, then I have to spend how much cost 20. If I make a decision of one, how much cost I have to spend in terms of minutes 30. So obviously in this case, I will take this option because this is minimum. Now you can think this Google Maps as a function, a function which just gives two things. Okay. It associates the cost with all the options for a decision. Simple. Now it will be more simple if we relate it to a machine learning use case. Okay. Let us say this is a training data. In this training data, I have taken, let us say height of the person is the target variable and weight of the person is the independent variable. Just a simple data I am trying to create. Weight of the person is let's say 68 kg, 70 kg, 72 kg. Height of the person is let's say 174, uh, 180 and 176. Some simple training data I am trying to create. Okay. In this data guys, what happens if we fit a normal linear regression model? Think on that once. You will agree with me if we fit a long, normal linear regression, right? The equation will look like this since height is our target variable. So equation for the model will be height is equal to beta 0 plus beta 1 into weight. This is the equation for the linear regression model. Now, here we will try to understand how this example is related to this. First of all, what is the loss in this case? Loss is nothing but the difference between actual and predicted. Okay, that is the loss. So in this case, the actual is 174. And if we put some value of beta 0 and beta 1, then whatever we predict, that will be y hat. Okay, so let me put here y hat. If you subtract y hat minus y, whatever you get becomes loss for this row. Fine. Let us understand with some examples of beta 0 and beta 1. Let's say this is beta 0, this is beta 1 and this is your uh, height predicted with this value of beta 0 and beta 1 and this is your loss. Fine. I will just create a simple table here so that it's easier to understand. Now let me plug in some values here. So I will write beta 0 in first case. This is my first decision D1. Beta 0 150 and beta 1 let me say 0 0.5. Now let us put the values here guys for this row, first row I am talking about. Okay. So here I will put 150 and here I will put how much? Uh, weight into beta 1, right? So half of this, half of this is nothing but 34 correct and this number becomes 184. So what is the predicted value for first row guys? 184. What is the loss in this case? I told you actual minus predicted is the loss for this row. So 184 minus 174. Normally we take the modulus here. 
so modulus of 184 minus 174 that is 10 which is nothing but 10 that is the loss for this row with this decision what is the decision beta 0 150 beta 1 0 0.5 if i change my decision if i change if i take other option in this case other option let me say uh, you know what i want to make beta 0 as 160 that is my decision 2 okay and i want to make beta 1 as 0 0.5 only what will be this number guys it will increase by 10 right so 194 in this case what will be the loss 194 minus 174 so 20 modulus of 20 correct in this case loss becomes 20 now what i am trying to make you understand here is decision 1 and decision 2 loss changes so what is the optimal decision or what is the best decision in this case it is simple to understand because it is just one root in this case we want to know what is the optimal value of beta 0 and beta 1 for which we will have the lowest loss now comes the difference between what is loss and cost so this row will have a loss this row will have a loss with same value of beta 0 and beta 1 okay here we computed for just first record same computation for other record same computation for other record one loss from here one loss from here one loss from here if you club all these losses right that is nothing but your cost function okay so i am sure you would have heard of something known as mean absolute error what is the definition of mean absolute error guys all these absolute errors that we are talking so for example if 10 is the error of this row uh, 11 is the error of this row 12 is the error of this row mean of all that that is nothing but mean absolute error and mean absolute error is the cost function for linear regression how to relate that with beta 0 and beta 1 every time you change beta 0 beta 1 this function ka value will change correct beta 0 beta 1 this will change this function is nothing but a function of beta 0 and beta 1 right what is the formula for this guys this is nothing but summation of 1 by n we will divide since we want to take the mean right i is equal to 1 to n and this equation will come right because y hat minus y so what is y hat y hat is nothing but beta 0 plus beta 1 into wt minus your actual wt right sorry your actual height h t here you can say h i t here you can say b i t sorry w i t which means first row we are talking about same thing if we do for all the rows then it will be a mean absolute error and a loss function for linear regression this loss function is also known as l1 loss okay and if you take if you have heard of mean squared error right very similar to this just that we take square of all these terms right so that that is called l2 loss for linear regression now ultimately if you see this equation or even MSE equation both are function of beta 0 and beta 1 so if tomorrow someone asks you what is the loss function for linear regression two loss functions you are aware of today one is l1 loss one is l2 loss msc and mae okay and both are the function of what the coefficient in this case we have just one target one independent so beta 0 beta 1 otherwise beta 0 beta 1 beta 2 what is the difference between loss and cost function loss is per observation and cost is for the entire training data so when model is trained we try to minimize the cost function and that is where we get the minimum value of cost function using optimal values of coefficients so what is the purpose of cost function to get the optimal value of coefficients to get what to get minimum cost function so i'm sure you would have understood this concept guys now my question to you is what do you think will happen in classification scenarios because in classification scenarios the the way to calculate the you know error this is nothing but error right the way to calculate the error is little different as we do in regression case so the losses are different these loss functions will not work in classification use case there are other loss functions like binary uh, cross entropy 
categorical cross entropy those loss functions are applicable in uh, classification use cases okay so remember guys any any uh, algorithm any ml algorithm which uses some kind of optimization so this is nothing but an optimization there the concept of loss function comes into picture okay so write me in comment what doubts you have what comments you have and please subscribe to the channel if you have not done yet please share this channel in various data science groups you are part of i will see you all in the next video guys till then wherever you are follow all the protocols do not step out of the home if not needed and we'll see i'll see you all in the next video Thank you.